Hi, I'm Ben. I'm one of the creators of Ionic, and I'm the designer of the framework. And I'm Max, one of the original developers and creators of the framework. And today, we are launching the very first series of the Ionic Show, which is a monthly video series we'll be putting on every month covering uh, interesting community projects, Ionic built apps, uh, new releases, features of Ionic that you may have missed, and going over cool stuff going on in the hybrid app development community. Yep, and uh, we are also homebrewers here. That is right. So every month we'll be featuring a new homebrew from the Ionic team. Uh, this month we've got a Black Earth Porter, which is a clone of a local Madison-based brewery. Uh, it's a pretty good beer, so we'll be putting your recipe up at the end. Hope you enjoy. Awesome, so today we are gonna be talking about Keychain, which is a company based out of San Francisco, and they used Ionic to build their iOS app and Android app. We're gonna be talking about Habit RPG, which is an app that gamifies your life, and Jenny Motion, which is a fast Android emulator, NG Cordova, which is a community project that was just released a couple weeks ago and took off, and lastly, Collection Repeat, which is a new feature in Ionic that is pretty awesome. So with that, let's get the show started. All right, so first up, let's talk about Keychain. So Keychain Logistics is a startup in San Francisco that is basically building an Uber for trucking. The idea is if you're an owner operator, which means you own your own uh, semi truck, you can pick up trucking jobs through the app uh, and kind of be your own boss at the kind of jobs that you pick up. So uh, Keychain had an iOS and Android app, basically two different separate uh, uh, native custom apps for Android and iOS. And they took those two apps and converted them to Ionic, to two hybrid apps uh, with Ionic. So uh, something that Keychain has told us they love about, about Ionic is they were able to basically take their web developers in-house and make them mobile developers. Yeah. So instead of finding really, really expensive consultants to build an iOS app and then an Android app, they were able to just build one code base and then deploy it on both iOS and Android. Um, it saved them a ton of time, a ton of money. For startups, it's incredibly important that you can get something done really quickly. Um, Ionic makes a ton of sense for them. Uh, check them out in the showcase, showcase.ionicframework.com. Yeah. It's one of our favorite apps. It's the number one on the list. We actually got to know the Keychain people quite a bit uh, while they were developing the app. They are, a few of the developers from Keychain are graduates of Hack Reactor. Yep. So Hack Reactor is this really cool kind of alternative to going to normal university to learn how to code. Um, you basically take three months. Uh, a lot of people who go there have never coded before and they come out of it being professional developers, getting great jobs. So we Definitely. met, we spoke at Hack Reactor a few months ago. We met some of those developers there. Uh, really great program and those developers have really kind of amazed us at how quickly they've learned to become really, really great developers in a short amount of time. Yeah, and they love Ionic, which is awesome. Yep. So next up is uh, Habit RPG, which is an app for Android and iOS that essentially gamifies your life. So the way that it works is it's basically like a to-do app. And I've downloaded probably 10 to-do to -do apps in the past. I know you've probably, you probably built 10 to-do apps. I've built many. They're, they're fun to use. Um, I probably get sick of my to-do apps within about a week of downloading them. But what Habit RPG did was they actually added uh, game mechanics that you would find in um, uh, like RPG games like World of Warcraft or uh, Skyrim, we're big gamers. Um, and they added it on top of the to-do uh, lists that you have in this app. So basically if you, um, if you get done with a list or if you, you know, achieve whatever it is that you set up to do, it will reward you for getting it done. So you actually are incentivized to carry through with your to-do lists, uh, which is awesome. And they switched from top code, I believe, with their app to Ionic uh, and loved it. They got in touch with us and said that they, they upped their app star rating from two to, was it four? Four and some change, which, yeah. is, which is sweet. Pretty, pretty dramatic increase in so, stars. That's awesome. Um, so they are also in the showcase page. Um, and uh, definitely check out the app. It's pretty sweet. I use it. Uh, a few of the guys here at Ionic use it. So 
Yeah, so Habit RPG, great, great company, great product. We'll be hearing more about them later. Um, so another great product that we've been using here is something called a Jenny Motion. Uh, we fall in love it. with Jenny Motion. We love it. Um, Jenny Motion is basically what the Android emulator should have been. Uh, it, it makes it easy to test your Android apps and actually make it fast so it actually feels like your normal app. Um, because we all know that the Android emulator just, it sucks. It's awful. It's not it's good. It's slow. Uh, it's almost pointless how useless it is. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm probably exaggerating a little bit, but the point is that... No, it's not good. No, whenever you try to test your app in an Android emulator, it just, it, it doesn't work. So Jenny Motion is basically a virtual machine that runs Android, uh, and they have tons of different devices, different versions of Android. Yeah. So you can test like 2.3, 4. I don't whatever. know why you'd want to test 2.3. Yeah, you'd probably just forget about 2.3 forever. We're trying to do that. Um, <laughs> but you can test new versions of Android. You can install your app. And, and the way Jenny Motion works is it, is it actually kind of looks to the computer like a Android device that's connected. So if you're going to use Ionic, you'll do Ionic run Android and it'll run it on the device. Uh, same with Cordova, you'll run it rather than emulate it uh, because Jenny Motion treats it as a connected device. So we test all our apps on it now. Uh, it's been really, really great for us. They have a free version. Uh, Jenny Motion <clears throat> is awesome, so definitely make sure you check it out for testing your apps on Android. We're kind of obsessed. A little obsessed. So next up is NG Cordova which is a community-based project, actually community-started project. It was a suggestion given to us by a, an Ionic community member, Paolo Bernasconi, who basically uh, got in touch with us and said, you know what you guys should do? You should make um, basically Cordova easier to use, wrap it with Angular directives and services. Uh, so Max and I took, I don't know, a weekend out, uh, busted out ngcordova.com, uh, launched it to the community, and it kind of took off in a way that we weren't expecting. Yeah, I think it had like 500 stars in the first week. Which is, which is great. pretty crazy. <laughs> and the community has kind of taken it and run with it. Yeah, so since we launched, we started with like, I want to say like four or five plugins, like Cordova plugins, and now we have like 25 plugins that are supported through the framework. So it was crazy enough that we had to release a custom download builder. So if you go to ngcordova.com, you can actually go to the download builder and pick and choose yeah. what plugins you want to use. We released that this um, week. So the project has really gone from like just a crazy idea a few weeks ago to something that a lot of people are using. Uh, it's been very useful. It basically just makes it easier to use all these native plugins that are available on Cordova um, and use them through a simpler, cleaner API that we've all grown to know and love with Angular. Um, and and one of the reasons we, we really wanted to make this is because hybrid apps have this like totally unwarranted reputation of not being able to use native functionality. It's not true at all. It's just a simple little API bridge that you can pass native data back and forth. Um, and NG Cordova just makes it easier to use all these great plugins to do the same things native developers have done uh, for the last several years, but on both iOS and Android, like on day one. Yeah, it's, it's not 2007 anymore. Nope, things have changed. Awesome, so definitely check out NG Cordova. NGCordova.com. I think we linked to it from Ionic Framework. We may need to add that link. Yep. It's it's super new. So, uh, so next up is Collection Repeat. Yeah. So Collection Repeat is a really important feature for mobile apps that we released a few weeks ago, but we haven't really publicized. Um, and we're gonna start uh, talking more about how to use Collection Repeat and what it can do for you. But the basic point is, uh, mobile apps need to render a ton of data. And lists are a very, very important way of rendering that data. Uh, but historically, showing a huge list of data on a mobile app has been really, really slow, unless you were using native iOS or Android. Uh, for example, if you had like 10,000 contacts, showing a list of 10,000 contacts was going to be really, really yeah. slow. So we built a Collection Repeat to basically only render the actual visible elements on the page. So you could have a huge list of 10,000 songs, 10,000 contacts, things like that, and it would just feel as fast as if you had only had 10. Um, so we put a lot of work into building a way to kind of show uh, tons of items but only draw a few that work just like ng-repeat. So you can basically take ng-repeat code that draws a list and convert it to collection repeats, 
and get insane performance improvements uh, using our collection and fee system in Ionic. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's a new feature we just launched. Um, we're going to be using it. We yeah. Gonna, we're going to be using it in a new app that we're building. Yep, so we've got an app that we're going to release. Uh, we haven't really publicized it yet to kind of show off a bunch of Ionic features. Collection Repeat will be a huge part of that. Um, and it's a major, major win for hybrid apps on mobile. Yeah. Cool. Well, that about sums it up for this episode. Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, we'll have the homebrew recipe at the end. Um, we'd love to, to, to talk about your own apps that you're building with Ionic. So definitely submit them to the showcase, showcase.ionicframework.com or send us an email. I'm max at ionicframework.com. Ben is ben at ionicframework.com. Definitely get in touch, tweet at us. We'd love to cover it. Um, and we'll be talking about some new special stuff we haven't released yet. Can't talk about it much yet. But it's going to blow your mind. It's already blown our mind. That's, that's, you don't want to build it up too much. Okay. It's going to be awesome. So be awesome. we'll talk about that in a few weeks. Um, and thanks for joining us. And we hope to do a lot more of those. So awesome. let us know what you think. See you next time.